and there is a major storm heading for North Carolina. This is the same North Carolina, by the way, that in 2012 uh, commissioned a, a scientific study of the consequences of climate change. And the, uh, this was the science, science panel of the North Carolina Coastal Resources Commissioner. And they sat down with a group of scientists, not liberal scientists. I realize, you know, there are some conservatives who don't believe in science. They think the world is only 6,000 years old. Climate change is not happening. And uh, humans, you know, we all came here via stork. But the reality is climate change is real. And when the North Carolina Coastal Research Commission five years ago, uh, six years ago now, released this report saying that climate change was going to alter the, essentially alter the coastline, the developers in North Carolina freaked out. And they took their money, as the Supreme Court has said they can do, to the Republican Party in North Carolina and the North Carolina <laughs> legislators and said, here, have some money, make this go away. And sure enough, the legislators in the General Assembly of North Carolina in 2012 passed a law making it illegal for towns, cities, counties, any community in North Carolina to use the information in this scientific report that the state of North Carolina paid for, to use that information for any kind of planning purposes. In other words, you can't stop developers from building houses that they can sell at a huge profit right now to gullible people who don't realize that that house may well be underwater in 30 years. Or even in 10 years, you're gonna start seeing you know, regular flooding events that are gonna wipe it out. No, you can't do that. And meanwhile, this is, uh, this is pretty amazing. It, this could be, we'll see, it could be one of the most powerful storms of our lifetime. It certainly looked like it was yesterday. It looks now like it might be coming down to a level three where it hits instead of coming in as a level four. But this is, this is again, uh, the, this is uh, Dr. Stan Riggs. He was a marine ge geologist at East Carolina University. And he was a member of a North Carolina Scientific Advisory Board. He, he lives in his, his campus offices in Greenville, North Carolina, a city that was six feet underwater in Hurricane Floyd in 1999. And he, he told Will Bunch, who wrote for CommonDreams.org, he said, uh, quote, North Carolina had a plan to deal with sea level and climate change, but they took it off the table and pulled the rug out from under the scientific panel. A year and a half ago, Riggs quit the advisory board rather than constantly changing things to make the uh, so-called pro-development Republicans happy. He again he told uh, Will Bunch, I'm an older person. I'm not wasting any more of my life on BS. <laughs> Only he didn't just use the letters. And this is, I mean, this is, this is what's happening, right? This is, this is what's happening right now. We've got major climate disasters. And this is, by the way, it's real. This is from the NASA website. Let's just go to our federal government, right? The NASA website. The website is climate.nasa.gov slash evidence. Climate.nasa.gov slash evidence. Scientific evidence for warming of the climate system is unequivocal. It is the result of human activity since the mid-20th century and proceeding at a rate that is unprecedented over decades to millennia. In other words, there has never been a time when the world warmed this fast over a period of tens of years or even thousands of years at least presumably within the context of the lifespan of the human species. Back again to NASA's website, the heat trapping nature of carbon dioxide and other gases was demonstrated in the mid-19th century. The current warming is occurring roughly 10 times faster than the average rate of ice age recovery warming. This is you know, from 10,000 years ago at the end of the ice age. That was natural climate change we're running 10 times faster than natural climate change that completely altered the face of the planet. Our temperature has risen 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit, nine tenths of a degree Celsius, 
since the late 19th century, quoting from the NASA website. Driven largely by increased carbon dioxide and other human-made emissions into the atmosphere. Most of the warming occurred in the last 35 years, the five warmest years on record taking place since 2010. 2016 was the warmest year on record. Eight of the 12 months that make up the year from January through September, with the exception of June, were the warmest on record for those respective months. So, and it goes on from there, but obviously the, 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 the climate website at NASA has not been updated since 2016 because Trump came in and said, hey, I'm taking money from developers, I'm taking money from the oil industry, I'm taking money from the fossil fuel industry. The Republican Party is supported in large part by the fuel, fossil fuel industry, so, so what if they're killing us all? It's the same position the Republicans took on asbestos for decades. So what if it's killing people? They give us money. It's the same position Republicans took on tobacco. It's why, you know, seven tobacco executives, or maybe it was five, lied to Congress, lied right to their faces. In fact, the guy they lied to was my senator from Oregon, Ron Wyden. They lied right to his face and said, no, tobacco isn't addictive as far as I know. Right. So why did the Republican Party let the tobacco industry get away with this for so long? Because they were taking their money. You know, every Republican office in the United States should have a red light out in front. In the old days when the houses of ill repute had red lights. Yes, we'll do it for money. Climate change, no problem. We'll knock it down for money. Tobacco, no problem. Just give us some money. Fossil fuels, no problem. You know, pipelines, poisoning people, defouling the waters, destroying natural, uh, excuse me, uh, historical sites, indigenous sites. Uh, just give us the money. We'll make it happen. We don't care, we're Republicans. We sell out to whoever gives us the most money. Rush Limbaugh. You know, Ken Vogel did a piece in Politico a couple of years ago about how Limbaugh's and, and Hannity and a bunch of the other right wing uh, hosts are literally getting millions of dollars a year, essentially under the table via the Heritage Foundation and other right wing groups. And of course, you know, they're largely funded by the Kochs who are in the business of what? Fossil fuels. And so Limbaugh comes out yesterday. Yeah, the forecast of the destruction, destruction potential and gloom is all to heighten the belief in climate change. Hurricanes and hurricane forecasting is much like is is like much else that the left has gotten its hands on, and they politicize these things. Now let me get this straight. All the scientists agree, and I mean literally all the scientists agree. People say, "Oh, it's 98 percent consensus." If you're looking at actual scientists, actual peer-reviewed publications, actual credible scientists, all the scientists agree climate change is real and it's being caused by human beings. So when a political party takes money from an industry that is causing a problem, and this, the same thing is happening with big pharma. We're going to talk about that in, in the second or third hour of the program today. But when a political party decides to take money from an industry and push legislation and policy that is the opposite of what the science says, and then their shills like Limbaugh come out and you know also taking money from these industries, uh, indirectly it may be, but still there it is. And then these shills come out and go, oh, they're trying to politicize this. Those Democrats who want to rely on science, they're just uh, politicizing this issue. And I'm sorry, the world is warming. It actually is warming. And it's a real tragedy that in North Carolina, the scientists who are, you know, issuing the alarm are having to resign from the panel because the, the, the General Assembly, the North Carolina legislature, passed a law saying that towns in North Carolina may not by law rely on scientific information provided by the state of North Carolina. This is how breathtaking the corruption in the Republican Party is.